Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Brand Gun. That's a 144 scale kit which copies P-39 Aero Cobra, quite famous aircraft of World War II. But note that this particular kit copies D, F and K versions, so we get several versions in one boxing. And now we have a chance to check closer this commercial sample. It is similar to what you will get if you order from web shop, no, brand gun. And now we are going to take a look what is hidden inside. So as you can see box design is typical for this manufacturer. We have this nice box art on the front here. You can see comparison with my hand. It's really a small box. Then on the side we have some information about manufacturer and information about the kit. But the most interesting is here on the rear side because here we have marking guides for four marking options. One, two, three and four. Note that even Soviet version is included here and mostly those aircrafts are from 1942-1943 and as you can see these are you know, typical green or olive drop marking options and it will be up to you which one you will copy on your small aircraft. Now let's open this box and check what is hidden inside and meanwhile while on, I am opening this box. I would like to remind you that you can support us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy because it's done via PayPal and of course you decide how much you will get and be sure that all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment which will improve quality of our photo and video reviews. So here we have first gray plastic sprue. In total there are two of them and one transparent plastic sprue. And note that here we have fuselage halves and this um, right fuselage half is molded together with rudder while the left one is without rudder but it has antenna on the top. And obviously this rudder will serve as a guiding element for those two halves. We will check it a bit later. The resist panel lines are present here as well. Also here we have now uh, one piece tail wings, note that um, those exhausts are molded separately and will have to be inserted here into special recessed slots. Then here we have nose landing gear leg which is molded together with landing gear wheel. Let's flip it over. Inside we don't have any position pins so you will have to be careful while aligning those two parts together. And of course we don't have any cockpit detail in here. But let's not forget that this is a 144 scale and assembled model will be just slightly bigger than your finger. Next we have second gray plastic sprue. This one carries this one piece wing part. As you can see you won't have to work with separate halves. You just cut off these parts and these attachment points and you're good to go. Of course we have molded in flaps, ailerons and wheel wells. We also have here PVD or uh, pitot tube and also here we have gun barrels which are pre-molded so be careful with this and do not break them off. I'm not sure what is this part for but these are landing gear doors. We also have one piece landing gear wheels. That's a cockpit for which is quite simple in my opinion but we have here pilot seat at least and simple dashboard. I hope that we will have at least decal for this dashboard. That's a propeller hub which is molded as one piece part and note that it is pre-molded with this no, gun barrel. And then we have last but not the least is this clear part which copies canopy. Obviously we don't have any masks for this for this part so you have to be careful while uh, painting this nice part and um, trying to get a really nice paint finish. Next we have this decal sheet. Decal sheet is printed in really nice quality so I don't have any complaints here. We have here all necessary symbols for four marking options as you remember. I don't see any symbols for the cockpit so it's a pity I would say. But again this is a 144 scale so nobody will see what you have in your uh, small aircraft's cockpit. Then here we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is printed in form of small brochure, black and white of course. We have parts map on the first page. Then we have assembly process which starts of course with cockpit. So this was a <laughs> cockpit wall. 
which will have to be attached from the rear to this cockpit floor. We assemble propeller, we assemble fuselage cuffs, and don't forget to put some weight into the nose area because otherwise you will get a tail sitter. Then we attach fuselage to wing. We use this clear part for the canopy. We install exhausts. And last but not the least is installation of the landing gear system. And here you can see also installation of landing gear doors into the place. So it should be quite a simple build, but as a result, you get really nice small aircraft in 144 scale. And that's Aero Cobra. So if you're not that eager to assemble 148 or 170 second scale kit, this might be an option for you. And as I said, it's already available on official website for a quite reasonable price. So it's worth checking out. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.